yeah, man. It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. A Bike Podcast, episode goddamn 116, man. Got special guests in the building. We got goddamn, we got a mother. Gotta say mother first. Goddamn nurse. Goddamn future doctor. Motherfucking rapper. And actress, dog. We got motherfucking Big O in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up? You got Big O in the building. I like how you shouted me out first and you called me a mother. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Thank you, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. forgot something. Secondly, I'm going to shout a guy first. Okay. For well, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, all, we all praise the Lord. Joe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all that good stuff. For Joe. But no, no, what's good with you? How you feel? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good today. Thank Hell you yeah. for asking me to come out and be on the show. I really, I fuck with y'all this, this hard. For sure, for sure. I appreciate it. Yeah, you just, you know, best podcast in the motherfucking city, man. Voice Period. of Detroit. So you know what it is. But no, we start off everything, you know, before we get to the music, before we get to what you're doing. Tap shit, in with us. We start everything off with a salute. Salute me while I'm here. But the thing about it is, you can't salute nobody else in your immediate circle. So it can't be mom, pops, kids, if you got a motherfucking boo thing, whatever. It gotta be somebody out of that shit. So. Somebody that you, you know what I'm saying, that appreciate the flowers that ain't that media circle. Got somebody, you you know what I'm saying, in mind? Uh, yeah, it's a few people. I want to um, shout out my whole uh, DST team, mm-hmm. um, Choir Boy, um, got D-Town, got Slick. So I really want to get them they flowers, shout them out, salute them right now. Sure. They sure. really showed me a lot of love. Oh, yeah, Slick, yeah, he, was on, he was on a podcast and shit not, no, not too long ago, a couple months ago. Shit, uh, fellow king. Uh, oh, I ain't go king. I'm saying fellow king. I think with the king and shit, my brother and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Slick and shit. Yeah, you did say he was from the east side. Yeah, I'm from the east all day. Yeah. Shit, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I don't. That's why I'm, I'm happy. I got. Oh yeah, I forgot she was an east sider too and shit. I should have mentioned that in her motherfucking intro and shit. Please, everybody who come on this motherfucker, we probably had out of one sixteen, probably had about ten people from the east side. Everybody from the motherfucking west and shit. So it's good to have another east side person. Where you from from the east? Where you where you at? I'm from Mac. I'm from Mac and Gray. Oh shit, you in the hood? Big East Side, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, what well, high school you went to? Um, I ain't go to high school over here, but I stayed by Southeastern. Okay, okay, hell yeah. All my my brothers and sisters went there. For sure. Um, I kind of you know we lived in the city, but I went to school out. Yeah. In the burbs. Hell yeah, no, I know I went to the burbs school. Then I went to uh thirty thirty went to Southeastern and shit for my last two years. I'm from uh fucking I can't even name a particular street. I'm from the just East Side. Yeah, I did a lot of ideas. I went to Southeastern Prime though. That's where I went to yeah. Prime at. Oh straight up. You know so. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I ain't got my prime. Even though the teacher wanted to take me and shit, I should have went. What's up, Miss Harper? <laughs> Ms. Harper. <laughs> now, now he's still remembering ain't yeah, I do, so. Jackie. And then when I saw her outside of school, I called her Miss Harper. She's like, no, I'm Jackie. I'm like, shit. Oh, yeah. So shout out to Jackie Harper. And shit, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, um, it's 2022. You know what I'm saying? I know you've been rapping for about four or five months now. Yeah. Shit, because you, you fresh in the game and junk. How your year been so far? Like, what's been, what's been new? What's been good? What's been bad? All that. Um, I really say for this year, me rapping, taking it seriously these last four or five months, I feel like it's taking off a lot better than I expected. It's a lot of mm-hmm. grind and a lot of hustle, a lot of tedious stuff that go with becoming that's, a rapper. So yeah, yeah. anybody that's been doing it longer than me, I really just want to give them their flowers, salute them because this is, this is definitely, this, this, um, mm-hmm. you know, this yeah, some grind shit. No, you got to, yeah. if you want it, you got to, you got to work yeah. for it. You got to own it. You got to. Earn it, excuse me. Yeah, for sure. Cause so, niggas think yeah, I'm a rapper. Like this shit about to pop off tomorrow. And shit, yeah, you know nobody's what I'm gonna hand you nothing. It's definitely not gonna pop. I definitely had that notion in my head. Though. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm still thinking that though. Yeah. But it's not like you don't have to think that. You gotta think you, that. But like sure. sometimes my instant gratification be like a t- mm. little bit like too quick because like I was talking about it for a minute. Like I probably was talking about it since like last year. Like oh, I think I'm about to start rapping, and yeah. I was just talking about it. I didn't have nothing in the play. Mm. I didn't have a video out. I didn't have anything yeah, I but you saw that shit though you know i didn't right i saw it and then you know you can already be talking to people about it, like you know this is what i think i'm about to do but i didn't already like have it you know yeah, 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 lined yeah, yeah. up and put For together sure. but once i put it together now it's like okay now we on the takeoff how you um how you get with your team since you so new like what made them you know saying be like, all right we're gonna fuck with you even though you know what I'm saying you still new in the game and shit um it's because we all kind of knew in the game so we basically came together as like we support each other and we network so anything we roll with they roll with Mm -hmm. making sure we all pushing the doors opening the doors for everybody else when everybody working together it's not even just them it's other people that um you know core collaborating with to do different support and stuff like that because really that's what you have to do you have to back other people back other artists hell yeah so hell yeah for sure for sure now uh before we get to that shit i I would just ride down you know saying coming here and think about some 
it's, it's getting warm. I know motherfuckers gonna act crazy. Tomorrow's gonna be 80 degrees and shit. Niggas on the barbecue it's grill. 80 degrees tomorrow. Hell yeah, sun dresses out. Niggas gonna be going crazy and shit. But it had me thinking. Yeah. You got any summertime memories? Cause I know your birthday coming up June 11th. You know what I'm saying? Yes, my birthday is coming up. Yeah, I see, do. how do I know all this shit? Cause I do good research and shit. Man, you do. Yeah, Gemini shit. You crazy? No. They say Gemini's be like on some weird shit. I, I think I'm a Gemini, but I'm like. A cancer and a Gemini, cause my birthday like the last day is some shit. I'm probably like more emotional, like my feelings get hurt easily. So I'd be like, oh, I'm I take a lot of shit personally. But now I be on, I'm too focused on my. I don't really believe in signs and all that type yeah, of for stuff. Sure. Yeah, but it, it do correlate sometimes with a lot of different stuff that's going on in life that do matter. But mm -hmm. you know, I can turn up. I definitely <laughs> say I could turn up the whole little, sure. you know. Two faced and shit like that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. one of the realest people I, you know, that you about to get. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Give me a summertime memory that you just remember. Like, like a particular year of junk. Cause when I think about summertime memory, I think about 04. Cause I'm old as hell. That's when I graduated. And then I just remember, like, shit, not knowing what the fuck I was about to do. Remember, I was broke as fuck that whole summer. I was broke as hell. Like, for me, I'm gonna say 2019 before the pandemic hit. That was like yeah. my last little. Lit summer, it went up for me that year. Like it wasn't <laughs> even just the summer; it was the whole year. Like yeah, that was your shit. Yeah, hell no, yeah. Cause I be thinking about them summertime. Cause it's like the summer go by so quick. So you had those memories of that. Damn, that was a good. But my summer. birthday technically not in the summer. It's like the end of spring. Summer yeah, yeah, for start, sure. Yeah, yeah. June twenty first, like my birthday. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. But it still be good weather, good warm oh, weather. June twenty first, so you you end in Gemini season. Yeah, so I it, some shit say I'm a Gemini, some shit say I'm a Cancer. So okay, I don't know. That shit all weird and shit. Yeah. So you being uh you getting into this rap game and shit like that, dog. Like, what what was some shit that you was expecting? Like, that 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 wasn't what you thought. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I see you just did your first show at the Garden Theater, or whatever, not too long ago. Like, how was that? Like, was it everything you you thought, or were you nervous? Were you scared? Like, um. I'm always nervous. I'm always scared, but I'll never show it. I've always been like that since I was little. Mm -hmm. I'm just, even if I am feeling that way, it's not going to come out because I'm somehow I'm just about to build some adrenaline to, mm -hmm. to do it. I'm not like, I'm a talkative person. So, yeah. um, I didn't know like the crowd was going to mess with me as hard as they did. Sure. You know, yeah. you, you like you go on stage, you don't ever know if people like your music, what they going to think, what they yeah. going to say. So it was kind of like that feeling, not knowing like what they was going to say or stuff like that. But when I got off stage and I seen the reaction, the crowd of people and stuff like that. And then even when I did my other show, it was like the same thing. So, mm. you know, as far as that, I feel like I'm getting a good aspect um, as that with the rapping and stuff like yeah. that. As far as like the support and stuff like that. Um, I got people rocking with me and the ones who don't, I really don't give a fuck. Hell yeah, yeah. Gotta you be, feel hell me? Yeah. Cause like, no. it is what it is. Yeah, I, run, I run across people every day that I've been doing way before I, yeah. I start doing rapping. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. anybody that don't fuck with me and you knew me before that, it is what yeah. it is. But the funny thing about it, that's what, it's going to be a lot of niggas that you expect to fuck with you that ain't. And you're going to be a lot of strangers And guess what? It's you. still cool. Hell yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. six billion people in this world. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Because I know I did my due diligence to people. Sure. I so I show my support. I did what I what I did with people. So you know why wouldn't you support? Yeah, yeah for sure. And sometimes when you do show love, shit, you can't even expect that shit back. Cause nine times out of ten, you ain't gonna get that shit back the way you want it. You don't. You and then me? when you show love for people, you don't generally love somebody if you're looking for something in return. Facts. I'm good. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We was just talking about that shit before you got here with a certain rapper. We ain't gonna name no names, but it's just like they expect so much. Like yeah, sometimes you just gotta have that. I don't give a fuck attitude. You feel yeah, me? you got to. You yeah. got to keep going. You know, you can't care what nobody got going on. Nothing like that. Like yeah. if you rock with people, you rock with them. If you rock with that, like I got tons of people that I rock with before I started rapping. But guess what? I'm still rocking with them. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now before we get to the music shit, talk about growing up. Who was in the house? Who was in the crib? You already say you from the east and shit. I know you was in your acting bag at a young age. Pops didn't want to move to Chicago. No, he didn't. He did yeah, not. So, so talk about all that growing up. Like you got siblings and all that good stuff. I did. I grew up. I'm the youngest of about five kids. Mm -hmm. um, the very, very youngest. So I grew up like, you know, very active and stuff. My mom kept me in different activities. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that kept me moving around. I basically grew up like the only child, so I really grew up with like my cousins and shit like that, you yeah. know. Shout the twins out, free my cousin, free juke, you know. Sure. But you know, I grew up with my cousins, so you know, and those was like my friends, shit yeah. like that. Um Mom's and dad was together? 
Yeah, my my mom and dad is together. My brothers and still sisters, together. We all got different. Yeah, my oh, parents shit, still together. Yeah, yeah, they still salute. married. That's Shout out up. my mom and dad. Love Hell you. yeah, you don't get too many of those, but that's yeah, what's up. Yeah, that's what's they're up. They're definitely still together. Um, but we always been a tight night, tight niche family. Like mm-hmm. like I come from a you know well known family on the east side. Like we from Mac and Gray. Everybody that that knows what's going on, they know what Mac and Gray about Dickerson, sure. Bewick. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all my yeah, that's Mac and my Bewick, people. Man, yeah, had those those nice little. Uh, Mac B with memories and shit. Yeah, shout out nigga sure. Reds and shit. Weez niggas got robbed over there and shit. I remember the niggas put the money in their mouth when they got robbed. <laughs> oh <laughs> well, yeah, that's the hood. Boy, I was man, I'm a, the I'm a, hood. See, I'm from, uh, from Cooper between Warren and Forest. Yeah, them my people too. Mm-hmm. But it's just like you. Um, I ain't just. I'm not a product of my environment. Like, for sure, for sure. For you sure. know. People probably think I'm, I came from the suburbs. I really? came from, you know, like when you tell people where you're from, they be like, dang, that's where you're from. Like, or even when I'm other places, they be like, dang, you from Detroit? Yeah. Like, they be thinking like, ain't no bad bitches in Detroit. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, we yeah. we are the fucking queens of bad bitches. There's tons <laughs> of bad bitches here. They live here in Detroit. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, all right, you you from the East. Do you hate when niggas be saying like, all East Side chicks be on some, you know, you, you hear that shit, niggas be oh yeah, West Side chicks better than East Side chicks. Like, at the end of the day, we all Detroit, but do you ever hear that shit and like be like, hold on? <laughs> yeah, we was just talking about that in the car as well. Um, Cause we like, you know, most of the niggas be like, oh, East Side chicks be coming outside with the bonnets on their head, motherfucking pajama pants and shit. I do. <laughs> I had on my house shoes on my way here. <laughs> and what? But, but then, but even with niggas, I know it's that shit. With West Side niggas too, they try to come outside, nigga. Like everything, I be fresh at all times. We come outside, nigga. We just go get it, like you know what I'm saying. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no flashiness to us. But when it's time to get like that. Then niggas, are, you know, saying be on that shit. So yeah. do, you, do you be saying that shit like that stereotype of like the east side more grimy, west side more flashy? Um, the east side, we about our money, we about our bread. We get grimy when we need to get grimy. I feel like <laughs> yeah. the west side, they do got, you know, I ain't even gonna speak up because I mess with the west side too. But Fact, you know, is. they a little bit more, you know, try to be on the more bougie type side. You yeah. know, we go the east side, we gonna do both all at the For same sure. time. Hell yeah, fat. Hell yeah, that's a that's a fact. Now. You 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 got mom and you got dad at the crib and shit. Tell me about like music wise, we got influences from our parents. Like our our first favorite artist is because of some somebody our parents was rocking with. So who was the artist that you was messing with just based off what your mom was playing when she cooking or what your dad was playing in the in the whip? My parents are a little bit older, so they weren't playing nothing that would be having you turned or nothing like that. And my passion really came from the people around me to mm-hmm. be inspired to do music. I got some cold musicians, um, artists in my family, rappers and stuff like that. So they really inspired me to do what I'm doing that mm-hmm. because of nobody's songs. You know, I got my favorite rappers and my favorite female artists and stuff that I listen to. But, yeah. you know, it came from seeing the other people around me, seeing the grind. Like, why can't I do it? Why can't you do it? Anybody, you know. You can do yeah, whatever would, you want to. Give me your first favorite rapper. Yo, not the one that everybody like, all right, bet you should like Jay Z or Tupac. Your first favorite rapper at a young age, like the nigga you was rocking with or the or the or the, or the uh, woman you was rocking with. Um no matter how corny it is. It was Selena. Selena was your first favorite artist? Yeah, I got a lot of pictures dressed up as like Selena, like with my little poses and stuff like yeah. that. It was definitely it was definitely Selena. I thought I wanted to be a singer, but I couldn't sing. Yeah. I could always dance, but I couldn't sing. For and sure. I was just like, Well, I probably do want to do music, but what the fuck I'm gonna do if I can't sing? <laughs> yeah, so I didn't sure. ever think like, yeah. Oh, you can rap because I ain't never think about yeah, doing that. Yeah. Like you you know, like I wasn't never already on my little Kim shit. Like yeah, I was yeah. in my head, but I wasn't yeah. out there like, you know, For sure. like yeah, I'm about to rap. But now I am. Yeah, hell yeah. Now at young age, you talked about that shit when I heard the other interview. Is that you was into your uh, your acting bag, like like at early age, and you just picked it back up in 2019. Like, what made you want to act at early age? Was it watching commercials or watching other little kids on on, on TV and shit? I think it was really so my mom. My mom caught my personality. My mom seen the stuff that I was doing, so she put me in all this different stuff, and it kind of just mm-hmm. went along and kind of just like. Oh, okay, that fit her. That's yeah. that's you know, I wasn't shy. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like a shy kid. So. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I wanted to be an actor and shit. I just, I wanted to be an actor just to get close to Kyla Pratt. Yeah. So <laughs> I want to be a rapper for her and all that shit. I feel like that was the way to get to her and shit. Like I saw her, she was she was nice. Like, bet I can get her. You still can. No, mm-hmm. I'm married now. So right. Oh well. See, you would see. I didn't <laughs> yeah. do no research. Shout out to his wife. We love yeah. you on here. It's all good, but she, if Kyla Pratt do come around, I'm gonna say hello. Give yeah. a nice little hug and shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, can I take her to a date? Like, fuck it. We, fuck, I got to take her on a date, though. Fuck it. I wonder if I got my badges. I'm gonna <laughs> drop some badges on my IG, y'all. I see now, uh, y'all on here. Drop some badges. While we sticking on, on, on growing up and, and being shit and doing shit, you say with the music, you ain't know about rapping, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't sing. You was, you know, acting bad. What's some other shit that you wanted to do that you was too embarrassed to tell anybody? Like, I originally thought that I was going to be Lil Bow Wow background <laughs> dancer. I always thought, like, I literally said that. Like, I was like, everybody in my family, like, all my cousins, like, I used to, like, dance. Like, that was my shit. Like, yeah. I go to skating land. I'm the first person taking my skates off. I'm about to battle you. Yeah. Like, that was me. Like, we, was about, we about to do this. Like, so... I literally thought that's what I was gonna do. Like, yeah, yeah I'm about to grow up and I'm about to be Bow Wow background dancer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I thought. Hey, no, but huh? You still love Bow Wow? Cause it'd be fun though how everybody used to love like those type of people back in the day. But then now you look at them as like some cornballs and shit. No, I, I still rock with Bow Wow. I actually know Bow. Bow is cool. Yeah. And Bow, Bow real cool. I actually met, I met Bow and we did the Millennium Tour. They actually real cool. Yeah, Bow real sure. cool people. For so, sure. And you can't hear off him. He one of the few child stars that didn't get, grow up and go crazy. He did go me? crazy. Bow not too much. I'm like, he ain't no coconut. Is, like. No, he's not. But but that was our time. He's still mm -hmm. known for what he did in our time. And nobody did that. Nobody sold out what he sold out. No, I remember no. like... You know, so that motherfucker so, in the garden in New, New York. I like, used to call the radio station. I used to win all the tickets. I used to call the radio station. I would win all the tickets. I got pictures like at home in my shoebox. Like I'm probably got to be like seven or eight. Bow Wow probably like twelve. Yeah. And I got the pictures of him. They used to do like the little shit that they used to throw down at like the yeah. radio stations or the little side. You know, when they come to the city for their shows and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Why they don't do stuff like that no more? Cause the radio ain't is like shit. The radio ain't shit no more. Yeah, I heard. Cause you be a car radio, like, hey, I want to hear this song. You feel me? Like, they, they play a song, like, oh shit, they play a song. I, I requested and shit like that, even though it's probably in the rotation. Yeah, let's see. But yeah, the radio, it's just everything different now because of social media. Like all that, that shit that we used to love doing and love listening to, and, and it's, it's just different. Like from the TV shows, from the movies, from how you play music, from how you hear music, it's different. Like, like yeah. Even when an album come out, I used to be excited to get an album, open that bitch up, look at the motherfucking shit. Put it on your I wall like for a albums like you know one thing I want I've been trying to get like I really wanted a um um it's on the tip of my tongue can't even think what I'm trying to say a record player okay yeah yeah hell I yeah. want a record player for sure. I'm yeah. putting one of my CDs on a record player. That'd like, be dope. Hell yeah. That'd be dope as hell. Like, hell yeah. I like record players. I like old school stuff like that. So, yeah, that's definitely cool. Everybody got to get them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. For sure. For sure. Now, speaking of old school shit, like, I used to always imagine, like, being on One System Park and shit. I used to watch shit like that. Like, One System Park, Big Tig in the Basement. What's the cartoon chick? See the World and shit? Like, mm -hmm. was you on that shit or no? Nah? Yeah, I definitely was. I definitely, I miss 106 in Park. I miss all of that. Yeah, you got them free. Free or bad, too. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> I mean, that's how you knew you was popping as an artist. Man. Yeah, like no. when you got called to go on 106 and Park man, and your yeah. and your song number one, number yeah, two on the charts yeah. on the on there, like your yeah. video. So like that that was it. Now everything you know is yeah. social media wise, like for sure, so. for sure. Now you uh um you 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 um went to school for nursing, graduated, got your well, your associates, and you still in school now, right? Yes, I am. I'm yeah. in school trying to finish. Yeah, for sure. Um, like to I, be a nurse practitioner. What made you want to get into the whole medical field and shit? Like, like was that something you knew early or like was it something that you just like, I, I like this shit, this is what I want to do? Yeah, I had knew like as like uh, probably when I got to like ninth grade and we had to go to like Voltec and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I, and I had seen, I had always knew like, oh, okay, well, I know I want to work with people, but I, I knew I wanted to work with like alive bodies or dead bodies. Mm -hmm. So I knew I either wanted to be a doctor or I <laughs> yeah, wanted to be a mortician. mortician? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I knew it was one. No, the, more so like, yeah, the mortician side, but you it was do more that so like, like. Damn, that shit. Yeah, that stuff fascinates me. Yeah, man. But no, it would. I would more so want to be on the side of like I want to. I would have pulled up like on the crime scene stuff. Like, okay, yeah, put yeah, me yeah. on like Quantico. Like, yeah. bro, I would have came like that. Like, man. I want to be on the scene. Like when the, the shooting, like it just went down. <laughs> like, you know, like that. Yeah. I would have been there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so I, I take it like what what college you went to? Um, I went to OU. I went okay. to OCC. Yeah. Um. Went to Wayne for a semester. For sure. Now we know, like, you, of course, you gotta go to college. You gotta go to school if, if, to pursue something in the medical field. But was like college pushed on to you by your parents, or was that something you was thinking, like, hey, I want to go to college. I want to do this, like, because a lot of times we be on our kids' head. My, my son, in ninth grade, I'm on his head about school and deciding what he want to do. Like, was your parents on your head about it, or you just you you want to go to college and continue on with your education? 
Yeah, I I think it was more so both. Like, they wanted me to go, and then I just knew that I was going to eventually go because I knew I wanted to do something. Like, But I started working at, like, an early age. I was working at, like, 14, 15. I had yeah. a job. I worked all through high school. Um, as Summer said, when I graduated high school, mm. I went straight and got um, – a nurse's aide, which is a CNA. I went and became a CNA mm. for a few years until I was able to shoot to Ohio to go get my LPN. Mm. So we went out there and we did that. And then I came back and I just went to school. Yeah, for sure. Now, what's your advice to like people like, and they in high school, they might be going to 11th, 12th grade. They don't know what the fuck they want to do. Do you advise them like try to think of a trade to go to? Because a lot of times we rush to college just because we think that's the thing to do. But then you just collect debt. Cause you don't even know what you, what you in college for, so you just waste yeah, it. Yeah, cause college don't necessarily be for everybody. What I wanted to do takes a a degree. Unfortunately, if I could do it without, I'll, you know, a lot of people, sure. you know, but it's certain things that you don't need a degree for. It's all about you. People have to sit down and think about what they feel best. Cause I did a lot of stuff like I eyebrows, all that type of stuff, mm -hmm. makeup. It was all type of stuff you can dibble and dabble. But once you find out what your passion like really is, like medical, it's like that's my passion. I love passion. With me jumping into this rapping, I just found it out like, okay, this is kind of my purpose too. Whatever yeah, I am, sure. yeah. I'm a rapper, an influencer, or whatever I yeah. am to whoever I'm, a, a actress, you mm. know. So it's you can have a lot of different passions. So no, you don't have to go to school. It's just you have to find out what it is that you want to do for and sure. just go, yeah. go forward with it. Because yeah, a lot of kids be thinking like, oh, I gotta go to college, and then you go in that bitch and don't know what you want. Yeah, do. I think you people can definitely go. I mean, one thing I didn't do, I didn't go stay on a dorm because like I told you I was working so I was yeah. like hustling I was getting money so I didn't stay on a dorm my first year of school so that's one thing like that I regret that I didn't do which was staying yeah, like on a dorm life. like yeah. yeah even if you just want to go for a semester just to experience mm -hmm. that would still be good just to you know see it you yeah. know yeah I wish I would have got that chance because a lot of us be like oh we don't want to go to school because we didn't like high school elementary yeah, middle school sure. <laughs> you know because yeah. that, that's a long time yeah, to be in sure. school you nah, know what I'm saying nah. and he's like oh I gotta go some more I'm out of here <laughs> Hell yeah. stupid Hell yeah. like, this you, is stupid like, you, would you still in school like do you ever get them times like man I'm done with this shit like I'm I'm tired every like, every day what keep you motivated like just the the, 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 the passion the degree that you know that you need it mm -hmm. Hell yeah yeah, Cause I I went to, I went to college for every bit of two months. What college? What college? <laughs> I went to Macomb. I wanted to okay. go. I wanted to go to Eastern, but I had to take my ACT or SAT. So and then my GPA alone, my GPA alone was gonna get me there. So it's like all right, go to Macomb. But then once I went to Macomb, found out I had a kid on the way. That whole school shit was out the window. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. I gotta go ahead and focus on this money. I go back to school. Yeah, so. I went to yeah I went to school pregnant with my last daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many kids you got? If you don't mind me asking. I got two. I got two okay. daughters. So how is you as the mother? Like, what's the what's the what's the mother? Uh, big oh, how 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 she is. Like, completely different. Like, you, you want them but I'm like passive uh, parents, mean parents. Like, don't take no shit. Parents like. I'm probably both, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely the more stern, like discipline with them to make sure they on the right track. Cause I got two girls, so I want them, oh, yeah, you know, sure. to make sure yeah. they doing what they supposed to do yeah, as young yeah. women, young ladies. I got ladies. two older boys, and I just got a baby girl, and I'm already seeing it. I'm, I'm gonna be soft as hell, boy. She yeah. coming, boy. I'm like, she she gonna be able to do whatever uh, she, she wants. To take all your money. So. Yeah, for sure. That's all good. I mean, yeah. shit, my sons do it anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> they gonna do it more. Especially my son, 15, he in ninth grade, so he trying to make sure he up to date on everything. Yeah, nigga trying to smell good. Like, god damn, this guy got a little girlfriend. Boy, you trying to wash up real How good. How is he talking about a girl? Kids <laughs> really be doing that. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm not ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. Me and my me and my wife met him, his uh, girlfriend, and their parents, okay. her parents. So I'm like, damn, shit, I'm old. That that officially made me old. I meet my son, girlfriend, parents. Like, I'm old as hell now. Like, so wow, that shit weird, weird as hell. So to you, like, with the music shit, it's been four years. I mean, four months. What what made you like? stick with it like because a lot of times we can we uh, we had talk about doing it we uh, we had started off but then be like you know what i'm good it's too much work it's too much of this it was it's really the people around me like i got a lot of support of people that's like you know oh keep going like keep pushing because like i said i got the acting going on i got the the rapping going on mm -hmm. there's other stuff that i'm trying to do just besides that like so you know it's just you know and then too, like when you feel it and you feel your breakthrough and you feel that something is for you. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, for sure. Now your first time in the studio. Tell me how bad that was. 
Cause a lot of times, I mean, it might be good, but I remember my first time in the studio. That shit was nothing like how it was when I was rapping in the bedroom. No, that that, that song that I did, that's my first time. That was my first time in the studio. I, I was really just on the phone, and I was like, uh, I think I'm about to start rapping. My homeboy was like, I'm at the studio, pull yeah. up. Just like that. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, come on. He like, yeah, let's see what you got. So I went in there, I laid it down. First time I heard my voice, I was like, ugh. Yeah. Who is that? That's me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, and they was like, "Oh, you heard?" I'm like, "What?" Yeah. They like it sound, and I was like, "All right, cool." And then yeah. I started, but then you got to get into like your flow. But I'm, I'm with it now, so I'm constantly now. I'm you, right, and I'm staying consistent. I was saying, did you figure studio. out your flow? You still figuring out? I, I got a lot of different flows. I figured that's probably the Gemini coming out that yeah, you was talking about. Sure. That. Hell yeah. So that, that you know, yeah, got yeah. the few different flows going on. Now I got drop some badges on there. I got a question. You know what I'm saying? With dudes, you know, dudes, they be on, they, they do music. Dudes lie a lot. You know what I'm saying? They talk about the girls they smashed, the money they got, and stuff like that. You know, they do a lot of lying just because it, it seemed good. Do chicks be lying in their songs? Like, when they be talking about how, how shit deep the pussy is, how they throat game crazy, like... It got me some, some girls. Hey, you know, I can't. I I can't speak on what nobody else saying and they rhymes if they lying or not because I don't know them personally. I just know I ain't lying. Do you think it's a lot of lying though going on? Like some, it's a, everything is a perception. Yeah, because so. maybe like, they is, maybe they not. Like every chick ain't throwing it bad like that. Some chicks they might be scared of that motherfucker. <laughs> Let me find out y'all scared ladies. Cause, Cause it be so. Cause like I said, it's a lot of capping going on. And I think in both. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So yeah, that's just a question I always wanted to ask because, like I said, niggas be niggas be lying like a motherfucker. Niggas be broke talking about they got money and shit. That, like. Now they, they be lying. Yeah. They be lying. Now tell Telling me this, because it don't be making sense. You been doing music for a little bit. Have niggas used the music to try to get on you? Yeah, they using that every day. I got top notch people. Like I got people that's contacting me, people that I contact, and that's the first thing. Yeah. But you know, everybody, you know, How you I know just figured that's that's just what. You know how you know when the niggas like really about some business how can you you gonna know when everybody is about business when they show you something like somebody just seen you know, or just posted something the other day stop having meetings about <laughs> meetings without <laughs> a meeting yeah, inside the, sure. the meeting man about another meeting that we about to meet about hell yeah niggas they doing something like, i got this meeting about what like shit, you know <laughs> the niggas only know the, the meeting shit. about the meeting hell we, yeah. gonna, we gonna chop it up politic it up no for sure because there's a lot of niggas i know they be using that shit. like it, it gotta be hard when you attract a young lady and then you do music and you won't be taken serious but then them niggas just trying to you know what I'm saying see what's see what's up with you as far as like you know what I'm saying get involved with you and shit. Yeah, I think that's just going to come from um, every aspect. Like, I even got women. Like, you know, yeah. everybody be on that. Not just, you know. Yeah, not just a dude. Women trying yeah. to see what that, that big old is. You just, yeah, <laughs> for sure. You know, you just maneuver around that. And you, you stick with the people that's really rocking with you. Because you're going to find that everywhere. Everybody's not like that. But sure. some people are. Yeah. Now, speaking of ladies, like, what's your feeling on as far as, like, Detroit? If It seems like females don't like working. Well, I ain't going to say females. I don't know they're disrespectful. But women, they don't like working with each other. Like, you never see a woman feature. Like, it's always a, a woman and a dude. Or, you know what I'm saying? Dudes fuck with each other. But how come you feel like... Why 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 women don't work with each other? Like, any more feature artists from a, from a, from another lady? Um, As far as the feature artists, I don't know why, you know... I just started four months, so I can't calculate what's yeah. been going on a few years before that. Because a lot of people that, you know, that I know do rap. Like I said, I just started rapping, but I'm fans of these females, too. Because, like I said, I just started doing this. So, mm -hmm. I was they fans before I started doing this. So, I ain't reached out to none of them people yet. But it is a lot yeah. of people that I am going to reach out to that I do want features with. Yeah. Um, so... You know, I can't speak on nobody else and why they haven't reached out to other people, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, yeah, for sure. No, so you ain't opposed to work, working with another female artist in the game, whatever, like doing no, some shit together. No, of course not. I feel like that's what we supposed to be doing. No, for sure, for sure. But it's like, like with, with the ladies, they be like, man, fuck her. I'm like, I, I mean, yeah, and I think it's just probably like a little, little lot of little rivalry stuff yeah. that people got got going on. Yeah, hey, and I talk about the name Big O and shit. Like, where where, where you where, where you get the rap name from? And was there anything else different as far as a, a name that you was thinking about at first? Um. Well, my real name is Ocean. Okay. Um, I got Big O just from shit being Big O. Yeah, I was yeah. doing big shit, or they, you yeah, know, yeah. So oh. they people just start calling me Big O. This was before I started rapping, so yeah. people been calling me Big O for a minute now. Yeah, so, so that's what people, with yeah, they was like, you know, Big O. But a lot of people are still calling me. Um, a lot of people call me Ocean or Battle, so yeah. a lot of people shout me out like as that artist name, or they say Big O. So that was so you you just went with that rip. It wasn't no other names you thought about like. 
like Miss O or a motherfucker, you know what I'm nah. saying? Like, <laughs> no, not for real. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, you just start rapping and shit. Uh, when you plan on dropping a tape, and then what? what what's the project in, in your mind? Like, it's going to be a ep a little short boy or a long boy like yeah i've been working on my ep since last year so mm -hmm. i have a co um a collection of songs in my ep i'm planning on dropping my ep on my birthday june 11th mm -hmm. so that's going to be dropping um as far as putting it on um social media or on mm -hmm. all platforms that should be coming up by next week you know i just was giving it like i said i just did this for four months and i just wanted to see you know yeah. Get, you know like this is new I'm be literally becoming a new artist a new person like I said I've been doing the acting stuff like that mm -hmm. that's completely different so forming yourself into an artist is For completely sure. different no, so fast. hell, yeah hell yeah. yeah hell yeah now as an actor you know I've been trying to get my little scene in these movies and shit I want to be third number one or two you know what I'm saying? I won't be a nigga that be having a gun and say put that shit down or something you know what I'm saying so yeah what right now you looking at, have you been cast in any roles or are you still looking for uh, something that you know what I'm saying as far as um, movie wise or TV or even like I a little series I just finished up a production um, with IUR um, shout out to Viz Tagged um, that's a movie we just finished wrapping that up we mm -hmm. filmed that a couple of um, months ago back in March okay um, I got another movie that I'm coming up with uh, Red Flags with KDZ okay and um, some Somebody else just called me about a few and then it, um i have a casting call for some stuff down in miami for a few tv films and for stuff sure. like that but um now and detroit dreams we got detroit dreams made it first but we filmed oh, yeah, that yeah. last year yeah, yeah. that you, was oh, filmed yeah. last to, year um, al Nuke. shout out to al nuke that I'm was still waiting on your response, bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're gonna be doing that made the first so those are the projects that i know about right now that are yeah. scheduled so okay now you 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 actress and stuff like that. Give me a movie that you would want to sub in and take over that spot. Like I want to I want I want to be with Ti, so I'm gonna take new new spot. Like what's a movie you wish you could redo and take over somebody's spot? Um, I don't want to retake over nobody's spot because I feel like everybody that is where they was at, that's where they were yeah. supposed to be. Because you know, for me to want to be in it, they had to do an incredible. But I know job. it's a role. You look like damn. I wish I had that. Um, <laughs> my acting coach, me and God, I really um. The movie, um, I'm, I be drawing a blank. No, it's all good. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Hold on. It's going to come back. In a second. Um, you it's with Taraji, but Taraji, it's not ba Baby Boy. Oh, well, you um, know, I was going, um, it's the one with the game. I mean, he was in that bitch, and then Tyrese, was he? No, it's, no, it was Taraji. Um, hold I on. Think um, Damn, I can't think of no other Taraji B. Henson movie right now, dog. Oh, Hustle and Flow? No, hold on one second. Um. Hidden Figures. Oh, okay, Hidden okay, figures. okay, okay, okay. I went and seen that with my mom and all my sisters. Hidden Figures. I'm like, it's on the tip of my tongue. So um, that is a movie I want to do because why I learned the monologue to it. So I actually had like my mm -hmm. reel and stuff to it. That is a very deep like character to be in yeah. in that type of discrimination being back in that time. Mm -hmm. So I just, that was a good movie. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, right now, they be like, all right, big O, we want you in this movie. We need, we need your input on who you want to be your lead man. Who 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 that, who that dude gonna be? In a movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this movie. It's a couple. They got a nice family. They got kids. But we trying to look for the husband for you, big O. Who you want? You can call. You can call Denzel. <laughs> you can call Morris Chestnut. You can call. You can. You know, I want the oldies. Hit me with the oldies. Hit me with the. <laughs> Hell no, I was saying, saying Denzel. Nah, the old. Yeah, for sure. What about some younger dudes? Now Will Smith. He might smack me. Oh shit! Yeah, that's it. Now, if you was if you was his wife, would you would you have stopped him from going up there? Like, nigga, get back here. Yeah. And my phone died. I knew that was happening to Miss <laughs> Mama. Hell yeah! That's it. Um. Yeah, because I just feel like at that point. You should have known that it wasn't nothing good going with towards him going to the stage. So yes, yeah, I definitely feel like she should have stopped him. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now let's go back to the music. You got this project that you say you plan on dropping on your birthday or whatever. Um, anybody you want to work with in particular that you maybe haven't tapped in with? You know what I'm saying? As far as features or production or anything like that. Um. We gonna make it happen. We gonna we gonna tag them, get the yeah, motherfuckers in that shit. Yeah, for sure. Um. It's a few people. Yeah, like, I can see. When I, like, I heard your job, I can see some with, uh, with payroll. Okay, yeah, I know pay, pay, cool. I ain't think about pay. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, payroll. I can see payroll. I can see you doing some shit with uh, what's the name too with peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those two people, you one of my you, favorite artists. Yeah, for real, mm -hmm. it's crazy. I just got on that motherfucker like last year. 
I ain't gonna lie, a lot of Detroit artists, I ain't start paying attention to Detroit music until I started doing this podcast shit. Yeah. Like, I was just, of course, like, I felt like Doughboy Cash Out, them niggas was like some goats and shit, like, as far as like Detroit music scene, I felt like they the reason why niggas is rapping how they are because of them. Hell no, Team Eastside. Oh, we, hell no. We what? No, nah, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on. We all cool now, but don't, yeah, don't we, everybody do us. Cool. Don't do no. us. We you got, cool. Everybody's you, cool. We you know, were all on, rapping. Listen, listen. Everybody's been rapping. I can tell you what the, what the, the song and everything. When it, when that, How? When, you can't even say that's when people got... It's so many people that's been rapping like you got, we got the Street hit, Lords, yeah, you got the Cheddar sound, Boys, True. but it doesn't matter. They all everybody been right. Detroit has always been a rapping city. We yeah, have always sure. had this. So nobody influenced nobody more to start doing anything because everybody just already got that shit. I bet it's different. <laughs> Why you think <laughs> that? Because <laughs> you're right. Everybody, uh, uh, Big Hurt, motherfucking K D Z, uh, Street Lord Wine, Blade. Malik, yeah, and I know like, all of them. They all yeah, got it, and they all cold. I I thought I remember it was a rumor at the time. I don't know how true it was that Ti was looking at to grab up uh KDs before he got locked up and shit like that. Like I don't know how true it that is, but that was just a rumor. But the thing I'm saying is they all had their own flow, different flow. Nobody sound like each other. But once 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 um Doughboy came out, shit man, everybody had the same flow, same cadence, same beat pattern. And then when I I remember when Kid dropped that uh. Is, is a good ass day. That's the first time you really heard that flow for real, for real, on it's the national a level. Day. And then as it's soon as so that nice shit came out, out man, niggas. That was, did, that did, that turned the city. Yeah, that, that was a song that I felt created that that Detroit sound. I just, Team East, I was right after. I ain't saying they stole it, but I'm just saying. No, we were but, already yeah, there. From the East. East, but we were already there. And it's just <laughs> about who took off faster and yeah, what they sure, were doing. It's sure. like, it's about who. Who takes what in order yeah. to be anything, you have to really turn into that. You have for to sure. do that and you have to push for yeah. that. So, yeah, and, and it's okay now because this is our, our sound. Like, Chicago got their own sound, New York got their sound, Cali got their sound. This is a Detroit sound, yeah. And, New and York sound niggas, is way different, yeah. Like, and a lot of niggas different. are stealing our sound, you know what I'm saying? But so they can't sound like us. But a lot of people messing with us right yeah, now, like sure. it, people that I know everywhere. Like, I got a lot of people in Cali, New York, you know, mm -hmm. like people really messing with Detroit. Like, everybody, and a lot of people ain't never been to Detroit. Like, sure. we got to lighten up some. Like, people scared to come here, y'all. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, for real. Hell yeah. Like, people be like, oh, how is it in Detroit? Like, we cool. No, niggas be looking at us like, it's a fucking World War Three in that motherfucker. Like, it is some people that do be on that, but like no, for sure, we ain't lighting up a little bit though. I think Trick them lighting up a little bit on niggas though. Like I think niggas making that call. They know who to call and shit, who to get with before they come to this motherfucker. Cause yeah, some people still can't come here. Like shit, it's, it's a rap on they motherfucker uh on they pass. So speaking <laughs> speaking of flow, you say you was gonna spit sixteen, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's going to bless uh, the Shy style. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bless Shy real yeah, quick. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? That's when you can pick up the motherfucking headphones, give us a little 16, see what this four months been about. Man, I hope so. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, we got another Shy style motherfucking Sunday and shit, man. Got Big O in the building. Big O. We're going to motherfucking bless us with some motherfucking bars real quick. Yeah. Fuck is mine. Piston game, big folks sitting courtside seats. They got that jury cam on, and you know it's giving heat. I got the cold bitches with me, and you know we from the D. Only fuck with niggas who got minks like me. Come and eat that cat nigga for a freak like me. Yes, yeah, wet. <laughs> Demi froze on me. I got his buffs on me. His big drip on me. Chanel sick of me. You bitches energy I ain't giving rich to me. It's quite sad to me. It's not your ass on me. A real tragedy. You bitches mad at me. Big bag on me. 40, 50 thou, bitch. That's changed to me. Get that ice on me <laughs> real ass out here man. yeah <laughs> <laughs> big old man hell yeah shout out to you because a lot of niggas like we said they've been rapping for four years yeah they won't spit a motherfucking bar in this motherfucker so <laughs> shout out to you and shit man so thank uh you, you said the project gonna be dropping in june yeah project gonna be dropping Any in titles june. um yeah it's called ride the wave my ep called mm -hmm. ride the wave um shout out to darius woodley mm -hmm. out in la he made me that beat he the producer on that beat for sure Hell yeah. um, Cla classic cold in the d yeah <laughs> hey, shout out to him that's what's up they just won the grammy you know they just did the don that he worked with kanye oh now, straight so, up yeah oh, so you so, work with some heavy hitters and shit yeah then. we got some shit coming at that, that that ice on me y'all look out for that that's coming real soon now so, on me. Now you being a new artist, let me ask you this: Are you are you charging niggas like heavy on the features? Or are you joining for the love? Or are you showing? You know what I'm saying? Because niggas come out the gate like nigga, I need five hundred. Like you know what I'm saying? So 
You showing some love by you being new or you just like, this is my price and that's how it is? No, I'm definitely showing love with different stuff. People that I'm collaborating with. Me yeah. and certain people got certain stuff worked out. I got, you know, different producers that's working with me, sending me stuff. Like, I got a lot of producers hitting me up. Like, I low-key just want to send you some beats. I just want to work with you because I already know. Sure. Like, so I, oh, yeah. I got that. So a lot of people doing a lot of stuff off the love and I do stuff off the love too. But sure. it's a lot of bookings going on too, so. Yeah, hell yeah. You got to get your money some type of way. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> hell what? yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, now, uh, do you remember the show Making the Band? Yeah, I remember Making the Band. I don't know, because, you know, I'm an old head. I am not going to get you no cheese. <laughs> now, Making the Band, I'm going to ask you this question. One album, you and four other people, who going to complete your band? It could be industry, it could be local, it could be singers, rappers, producers. You and four other people got to complete this band. Who is going to be? I'd probably say it's me. For sure. Me. Because he did Me. Goddamn I don't want to say four because I know my band going to be more than that. Yeah. And so I'm just going to say me right now because no, I no. got a collaboration of people I want to say in my band. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nobody in the industry you want to work with? No, yeah, nobody in particular? For sure. Shit, we got Trina coming here. I'm on the show with her. Yeah, Shout out yeah. to them. May 5th, we doing that. Cinco de Mayo. Y'all yeah. get y'all tickets. Come out to Club how, Blue. Um, what, show you girls some love. tickets at? The link is in my bio. Ocean O Battle. That's on all social media platforms. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. TikTok. Ocean O Battle. Yeah, for sure. yeah. So the link is in there. So we got Trina. I mean, Lotto, mm -hmm. Megan. You know, I got, you know, tons of motherfuckers in my family. Yeah. Top side, Alpha. You know, I got tons of people. How like, you get that shit? How you get on that, on that, on that bill? Um, which one? Oh, with, with Trina and shit. Just, uh, um, one of my other girls, Carly, um, Lorray, who called me. She artist in the city too. Shout out to her. She, sure. you know, I met her. We do um a few collabs with another one of our friends. I met them, Choir Boy, few other people. Um, mm. she just see me. I'm networking. I'm getting sure. booked for stuff. Hell so yeah. she called me like, I see you turning up. Yeah. You want to, you know, I want to put you on the show, and that's mm. kind of how it went. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Get some little love. That's what's up. Yeah, hell that's yeah. what's up. I definitely appreciate that because people, you know, people not doing that. All no. everything is about networking and making connections. No, with got people to. and building good bonds and everything with Hell people. Yeah. At. Trina, come on the show. Please come on the show. <laughs> now, uh, your goals as a youngin compared to your goals now, what's the same and what's different? The goals you had as an 18 big O compared to what you is now, you your age, but you know what I'm saying? What, yeah, what's I just feel like what I what at 18, like, you know, just trying to hurry up and like establish, but it is some people that's like 18, 19 that got that shit going no, for on. Sure, like, for sure. You know, it's a whole bunch of you yeah. know younger female people that's coming up way before like 25, like, you know, really doing anything. Um, so, you know, just want to, you know, I'm just like, you know, don't like, I'm not trying to like rush it. I'm at a pace. Like I'm happy. Like I'm yeah. good. Like, you know, back for then sure. everything was like, like, Oh, I got to hurry up. and do yeah, this. I got to yeah, hurry yeah. up and do that. I got to hurry. Like, no, like mm -hmm. do what you want to do. Hell yeah. Do what yeah. you want to do be everybody got, their own, everybody got their own pace in the race yeah mm -hmm. for sure so hell yeah now we uh so we getting towards the end we got the verses I, mean, I ask you something you give me which one gonna win i say east west you know what i'm saying shit like that yeah so, you, uh um all due spread your grandma she's is she still around no all my grandparents are okay, right now deceased so. okay well i can't ask that question god about to say grandma cooking versus mama cooking you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's always that's a debate right there. Shit, nah, dog. I'm going with my grandma. Hell yeah! All right, uh, stiff macaroni or creamy macaroni? Creamy macaroni. Oh my god, I got that stiff. I want that boy to be stiff. I gotta break it down. I mean, it gotta be stiff and creamy. It gotta be moist. You gotta. That's what you're. You. That's the word you look for. <laughs> 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 First of all, you know everybody like that macaroni no, sure, sound. Sure, Y'all yeah. know what's going on around here. Yeah, 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 that's going down. Shit. You know it's going down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Soul food versus seafood. Soul food. All right. East side versus west side. East side. Doughboy cash out versus team east side. Team east side. All right. Vezo versus Sada. Vezo. Okay. Tall versus uh, short. Short. Short dudes. No, I thought you were talking about me. I'm sure. Oh, no. Tall thought dude you were talking about people. Oh, my what bad. you talking about? No, tall dude, versus, <laughs> tall dude versus short dude. Tall. <laughs> all right. All right. Nightlife or day life? Day life. Summertime gear versus wintertime gear? Winter. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Cardi versus uh, Nikki? Cardi. Okay. All nah. Right. I don't know. Stop doing that to me. What? You're moving too quick. <laughs> yeah, all You're right. doing too much. Goddamn. Let me see. Let me see. Nas versus Hove. Who? Nas versus Jay Z. 
Hove. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Let me see. Slim versus Thick. Thick. Fried potato. Fried, I, mean, I was thinking fried potato. <laughs> <laughs> fried chicken wings or fried chicken breast? Wings. All right. Out food or are you or are you cooking it? Are you cooking it up yourself? Out. Out. All right. I can cook though, but I want to go. What's your what's I, your what's your go to dish? Craig coming over. Craig like you. You like Craig. I can cook everything. I ain't gonna. What's hold your you go to though? You got to go to dish. Go, I can cook anything. Ain't no go to. Whatever they say they so want. So you can prepare you Thanksgiving dinner. You got the dressing. I do make Thanksgiving dinner. Oh shit, damn. People pay me hundreds of dollars to make their dressing. Niggas that I don't even talk to no more be calling me like, can I pay you to make this dressing for my family dinner? Hold on, hold on. So I'm a I'm a dressing connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, I can cook. So I gotta go ahead and get I it. used to bake like before I used to do so much stuff. Yeah. All right, on the dressing. Cranberry sauce versus gravy. Uh gravy. <sighs> Man, I don't eat cran- no cranberry sauce. You got that cranberry sauce on that thing. Uh, what? Man, you crazy. All right, give me a uh, turkey versus ham then. Turkey. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Christmas. Hell yeah. All right, now last one. I'll give you top three. Give you a category. Give me your top three. Top three childhood crushes. Celebrity crush. Because niggas be thinking about niggas down the street and shit. Um... We know Bow Wow in that mug. You want to be the backup dancer. You got to be one. No, I don't think... No, I, I ain't one like that. I just... I just mess with... You want to dance, yeah. 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 Right, I just... Right. um, Let me see. It was like a group. Like, I liked it B2K. Like, yeah. I liked it Pretty Ricky. For sure. It was just like... It was like a group yeah, of yeah, 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 people. Yeah. Like, it wasn't sure. like... um, You know. Yeah, give me your top three moments in life so far. Your top three moments. Here right now, the moment I'm living in, present. Okay, I'm about to say, I, I, I thought you were talking about on the show. I was about to say, damn. I am. The man. It's we in the present right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what's all right. We'll give me two more. Two more top moments in your life. Um, Graduating and sure. my kids. See, I'll be I'll be hoping people never say hey, kids. Like, I'm like, damn, man, you got kids, don't you? Like, niggas, <laughs> niggas be like, yeah, that time I got high. <laughs> that time that girl had came, finally came and rocked my world. <laughs> what? <laughs> Niggas don't say hey, kids. That's all bad. Niggas get kids, right? Niggas be married, like niggas be talking about niggas don't say nerd shit. Like damn, that's all fucked up. All right, give me your top three movies. Um, Love and Basketball, Selena, mm-hmm. and um, I probably had to go with All About the Benjamins. Yeah. Okay. Top three. Uh, top three artists. Top three artists. Rappers or singers, it don't matter. Your top three. Um, Lotto. Mm-hmm. Um. Sada, mm-hmm. um, let me name somebody R and B ish. I like her. I fuck with her heavy. What's the other one name? Um, many money. Uh, I could do this for hours. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Damn, I forgot her name. Start with M though. I forgot. Money, money yeah. Her. Oh damn, I never. I always uh, forget her name and shit. Yeah, I like her. Oh, I can't forget my my girl Ken the Man. I mess with Ken the Man. I, I love her. All right, give me I want a feature with her. That's that's something up personal. Yeah. Top three TV shows. Um, me Bridgerton, BMF. Mm. Um, and my friend, she had me. What was I watching this crazy show? Let me think of it. Um, when they was doing all that crazy stuff on there. Shit, little hip hop. No, <laughs> like, with them drugs and stuff. What is it called? Uh, yeah, Euphoria. Oh, Euphoria. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Euphoria. The, the, the little, like, oh, yeah. The yeah. high school kids and shit getting high as fuck. Yeah. yeah old girl from all Spider Man and shit. And that bitch yeah. Blew the fuck out. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Give me your top three cartoons as a kid. You, I know you got it. Rugrats. Hell yeah. Hey, Arnold. And, um, Cat and Dog. Hell yeah. That shit. Motherfucker. Hey, I, I used to fuck with Cow and Chicken and shit, though. That shit was yeah, weird as fuck. For sure. Hell yeah. It was so, it's so many. Like, I can keep going on. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the Raven Proud yeah. fan. Like, Red it could go on. Was, uh, was Why I hear somebody was in the shop yesterday or whatever. A girl, her phone ring. Why was it the Kim Possible? <laughs> I was like, oh, Hell shit. No, man. Like, what? Niggas would be having, like, little ringtones and shit. Like, she had Kim Possible, but it was lit. <laughs> it was lit. Hell I'm like, no. oh, I got to get me the Kim Possible rings. Or it was like, do 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 do. Man, <laughs> goddamn, remember Chirp and shit? You made me think about Chirp and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Goddamn throwbacks. All right, last thing, we we're going to end it off like this. A drunk moment or a high moment? High a funny moment. story when you was drunk or high? Give it to me. The highest I probably be in, I threw my sister a baby shower and I had ate a, um, an edible. Yeah. And I was 
I was gone. Like I, then I caught the police on myself. I caught the ambulance on myself. Like I didn't like. I was <laughs> crying, and I was happy, and then I had to throw it. I was yeah. literally like, ah, oh, yeah. So, was you in charge of this other baby shower? Yeah, yep. I did the whole thing. Hi, I was high the whole <laughs> day. Nobody. I had to wait because I had took it the night before because my friend she threw a party, so we had it the night before. The yeah. next day, I had to wake up at like five, six o'clock in the morning, yeah. start prepping the food for the baby shower. So from that time on, throughout the yard, I was. A strong, do y'all hear me when I say Man. I was high the whole so? Huh, did the police come out? Yeah, the oh. the, yeah they yeah, they came. You call police on yourself, like, listen, I'm fucked up. Yeah, it's a video a of me. Trip. I was on there crying. Yeah, man, I want to see that. They was, yeah, they was laughing at me. The ambulance, they was like, so you threw a baby shower, motherfucking, and then got high, fucked got up high. on yeah. your ass, huh? Man, you got a drunk moment that you was fucked up on, on some lit, or you ain't no drinker? Mm, no, not real. I drink, but then I. I probably think every drunk moment for me is a moment. Man, hell no. Because yeah. I don't drink, so every yeah, time I'm yeah, drunk, yeah. it's just... You ain't one of them people who don't drink, but then when you do drink, you be annoying. Isn't you? Like, the one nah. people like, everybody hate me. No. Nah. Or, yeah, because you got them drunk. I don't like, know. I, I got to ask somebody. <laughs> friends. Tap everybody me hate me. I want to... Like, I ain't going to be here. Like, I hate them type of drunk. Yeah, like, I don't know. God Maybe damn. not. Well, I appreciate you coming on the goddamn show. I appreciate y'all for calling me out. We for got sure. some dope shit tell, going uh, on. Tell everybody where they can find you at on, on socials and all that good stuff. Y'all can find me on all social media platforms at Ocean O Battle. This your girl, Big O. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, again, that's Ocean O Battle on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and um, Twitter. I got to get that TikTok thing yeah, going somewhere. I don't know somewhere. how I work that shit. Like, I don't know why. I be feeling dumb as hell in that mud. I don't know yeah, what I be like, doing. Yeah, nigga be doing dancing. Hop in my bag. Yeah, Hop I can't in. dance, so shit. Yeah, fuck like, it, fuck it. So. <laughs> you got anything you want to leave people with? Any motivation, wor motivational words, quotes, whatever? Don't drink and drive, anything? Don't don't drink and drive, like he said. <laughs> but we, you know, David on that. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't please. do that. That's not Anything fair. else? Anything but else? But no, all jokes aside, just uh, thank y'all for allowing me to be on here. And anybody sure. that's rocking with me, be looking for my new music to drop, be looking for, for sure. me to drop. And anybody that fucks with me, just know I fucks with you because sure. that's what it is. You love, yeah. peace, and joy. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And shit, man, I ain't, I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing to end it off with. Shit, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Big O ain't little. You know what I'm saying? She said everything's the big real. Big O, not the little. Ain't no motherfucking, ain't no, ain't no fakeness about her and shit. So yeah, until next time, get y'all shit together, get y'all minds right. Cyrus, everybody, Big O, episode 116, we out here.